welcome to Variety Varnish. My name is Sheila and today we're going to be talking about the China Glaze Trolls World Tour Collection. This collection is I believe their spring collection and I actually won this from a giveaway hosted by Casually Vane and China Glaze. And so I'm so grateful for Casually Vane and China Glaze for this wonderful opportunity to be able to win this amazing, amazing collection. I'm gonna link Casually Vane's uh, Instagram info down below, but I'm gonna show you, I mean, this is their PR box. I have never received a PR box before. Um, from any company like this, you know what I mean? Like a whole decked out PR box. But I'm gonna try to open this for you. Look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh. <gasps> looky, looky, looky. So wonderful. And so um, I am gonna show you these bottle shots, obviously, like um, up close, but I'm gonna just show you quick. This is Funky Beat, Pink and Poppy, No Holds Barb, Delta Darling, uh, Chill in Symphonyville, Can't Stop Branching, it's all techno, and Glitterific. And these are just, this is amazing. And look at this box, you guys. I'm so excited. Um, so of course my daughter loves trolls, loves, loves trolls. And so when she uh, saw this, she was like, oh my God, mommy's that a toy? I'm like, no, it's mommy's toys. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just so stoked to get this um, package from China Glaze and for having won this giveaway. I'm on a roll. I really have had a lucky streak. So yeah, um, I am going to swatch and not really review. I'm just going to swatch these polishes polish just, just for fun. And um, we're going to go ahead and get started. First up, we have Funky Beat. And this is a neon leaning purple. I actually did not expect to like this one as much as I do. It is a stunning purple. It is actually very flattering to my warm skin tone, which I didn't expect. Now, of course, because of you know it being a little bit neon it does dry down to that sort of like plasticky matte satin finish that i am not a fan of and so i put on a glossy top coat and it just absolutely shines and this is funky beat the next one we have can't stop branching and this oh my goodness this is a stunning stunning sort of greenish blue turquoise color again i think it has some neon pigment in it because as you can see it dries down that satin matte you know finish that I don't like and so of course I put in a glossy top coat on this one and this is really just one of my favorites in this collection just a stunning stunning shade chill in symphonyville and my super stained yellow nails did not do this polish justice I think that if you have beautiful nail beds this would be absolutely stunning on you this will also I think make a great topper as it is this is probably my least favorite in the bunch just because you know it's super sheer but again I think as a topper this will definitely shine through um, I did three coats here but probably if you wanted it to be more opaque you could do four and this is chill in symphonyville this one is one of my favorites this is delta darling and this is a very warm sort of creamsicle color it's sort of peachy it's just absolutely stunning now i know i think every um I think every brand released some sort of creamsicle color and I think this is my favorite. This is just so pretty. The warmth just complements my skin tone so much. Um, and yeah, this is definitely my favorite peachy creamsicle uh, shade that was released this year. And this is Delta Darlin. This one is No Holds Barb, and oh my goodness, guys, if watermelon was a nail polish, this would be it. I have a lot of watermelon shades, but this, I believe, is the closest to the actual fruit. So juicy, so squishy, opaque in two coats. Again, it does dry down that sort of satin matte finish. 
I always put a glossy top coat on it, but this is just positively stunning. And this is No Holds Barb. This one is pink and poppy, and oh my goodness, this is a party polish. Beautiful pink in a gorgeous formula, opaque in two coats, just so much fun and just such an impressive polish. It's definitely a party polish, a little bit too loud for me for daily use for sure, but this is... This is probably going to be stunning on toes. It's just absolutely stunning. And this is pink and poppy. The next one is glitterific. And my goodness, this glitter payoff. My goodness, guys. This is thick and full. And you will get all the glitter that you want in this polish. I mean, you can see that on the first coat, it's almost like fully opaque. So gorgeous. If you want an easy glitter polish, silver glitter polish, that's just, you know, like almost brainless. This is fantastic. And this is glitterific. And then of course, I'm saving the best for last. This is, it's all techno. And it's all techno. It's this beautiful chartreuse yellow green absolutely stunning. Um, this is definitely a little bit patchy on that first coat and even on the second coat. So I did do three coats on this one. Um, I think compared to say, for example, um, Delta Darling, this is definitely a true uh, three coater. Delta Darling, you can probably get away with two coats, even though I did three. But yeah, the color payoff on this polish, guys, is just simply stunning. Um, obviously, this is one of my favorites in the bunch. And this is It's All Techno. So that's it, you guys. These are the polishes that are in the China Glaze Trolls World Tour collection. Um, let me know in the comments below if you plan on picking up any of these polishes or if you already have picked up some of the polishes. What did you guys end up uh, getting? I think it's a very fun, vibrant, very cohesive collection. I think that it definitely screams trolls to me. And um, it's now time to pick a favorite. And I would have to say, I would definitely stick to the ones that I actually planned to get. Um, the two that I actually really plan to get from this collection, um, you know, before I won it was um, it's all techno, which is this beautiful sort of uh, chartreuse green, really fun. I absolutely love this, this shade. And then um, Delta Darling, which is such a beautiful, warm, sort of peachy crims creamsicle shade, which I absolutely love. Um, the unexpected favorite that I have would be a uh, Can't Stop Branchin, which turned out to be such a beautiful sort of dusty turquoise blue-green color. Absolutely amazing. To be honest, I think the only one that was sort of a dud for me was this right here, the uh, Chilling in Symphonyville, I think. Um, it, I think, works as a topper beautifully, but as... A polish in and of itself I am not a huge fan but other than that again thank you so much China Glaze for this opportunity thank you Casually Vane for just this amazing giveaway and I am so so grateful to have um, won this giveaway and these are just absolutely stunning polishes um, as usual, if you don't know, China Glaze is one of my favorite mainstream brands, probably next to Essie. And uh, it's, it's, um, it's amazing. It really is. And so, yeah, um, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. If you like this video, uh, give me a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. And um, yeah, I will catch you guys again in my next video. And in the meantime, have a great day. Bye.